I need to get something off my chest. I haven't written anything for three weeks. Not a single word. My spark's gone out. It's not because I've been too busy or I haven't got around to it. I've tried a lot over the past few weeks to sit down and write something. A few times I've even made it a hundred words or so into a new story before I've just backspaced through all of it. Maybe you know the feeling. It's one that I think pretty much every writer has now and then. And we all know how this goes. Now I'm supposed to talk about the solution to writer's block and how to get around it. 10 top tips to stay productive with your writing. Yeah. I'm right in the middle of writer's block right now, or whatever you would call it. So what's the plan? What am I going to do about it? Nothing. There are so many videos and articles out there about writer's block and how it can be beaten. They all offer different suggestions and solutions for getting back on track with your writing and avoiding it in the future. And often what I see is really harsh advice. Like, you have to just write through it. Writing to deadline is part of being a writer. It's just something you'll have to learn if you're going to be successful. And if you only write when you feel inspired, you'll never get anything done. That might not seem all that harsh, but look at it another way. If you'd been running 10 miles a day for years, rain or shine, and you had a knee that suddenly just didn't feel right, it seized up, got stiff and a bit painful, do you think a doctor would say the best way to make this better is to just keep running and not change anything? This advice of you have to deal with it if you're going to be a writer isn't helpful because it's just not specific. A self-published writer might have to write at a different pace from a traditionally published one, who might write at a different pace from somebody who writes articles online. So the blanket approach of you can't just wait for inspiration seems like, intentionally or not, a way to just force creative people into thinking they have to have endless productivity. It's another source of criticism to make writers think that they're not good enough, or they're not working hard enough, or that they don't measure up. As always, I can only speak for myself, but when I force my writing, it pushes me backwards, not forwards. Reading over hastily written work makes me feel worse about my skill level. That leads me to doubt myself, which leads me to write less. Then I think I have to catch up, so I write hastily again. I do understand what people mean when they say you can't always wait for inspiration. It's about developing a habit that makes it easier day by day to keep writing. I get it, it makes some sense. But the bad days, at least for me, are something that can't really be overcome by habit. While habit can support your creativity, it doesn't actually create creativity. A better habit, I think, might be to learn how to function alongside the natural ebbs and flows of your creativity and to accept a little bit of downtime. Go back to writing solely from the heart and having that be what guides your story rather than treating everything you write like a product on a production line. It's unavoidable that if you want a career in writing, there's going to have to be a business side to that. It can't always just be about your art. But your initial inspiration, I think, should always remain the driving force throughout your writing. For me, if I'm writing just to get it done so that I can do something with it, then that initial inspiration doesn't seem to come into the writing at all and it's left feeling really thin. Then when that spark goes out, I'm writing in the dark. That's why I'm doing nothing right now to write. I'm doing nothing to fix this writer's block problem. The spark needs to come back again before I can keep going. I'll never create a story that can move someone or entertain them or even interest them if I don't slow down this Scrooge-like approach of keeping my nose to the grindstone. When I write like that, I can get words down, but they're just flat and empty and they don't have any passion, so that works out to be more frustrating by far than just not writing anything for a little while. Writing is creative and it's artistic and for most of us, it isn't a business, so Approaching every story you write as though you're assembling parts on a production line just gets really tiring and it always leads to a product, at least for me, that is nothing like what I thought it would be. And if one day my writing does become a business, I think it would be far more useful for me to already be used to working within the confines of that natural ebb and flow of creativity so that that spark can be what sets the schedule. The business side, at least for me, is always going to have to wait because otherwise the actual value of the story is at risk. 
all the advice out there about writer's block is about keeping going, getting back on track. Have you tried going for a walk? Have you tried taking Try a reading, shower? Maybe. Write somewhere Free yeah. write, maybe that'll work. You can always move to a different Try chapter. Something else. Just keep going. Try it's reading, maybe. Maybe the real answer is to, to just reading, stop. Listen to yourself. Notice how dark it's got and rest. Stop pushing something that doesn't benefit from being pushed. Stop having zero tolerance for lack of productivity. Stop treating yourself like an employee instead of an artist. So, I'm just not writing at the moment. I have no calendar, I'm not on a vacation from writing, I'm just not writing. I know that when I'm ready and my mind's in the right place, I'll pick up exactly where I left off. The spark will come back. It always does.